Good morning, everyone. Thursday, the 25th of March. There is a little saying that I read this morning. I'll come back to where I read it from. But it says, when God created us, it, he, he made us, created us without our will. In other words, we, we had no say in that matter of our creation. And yet, when God comes to save us, he cannot save us without our will. In other words, the choice is ours. Now that we face salvation or eternal damnation, the choice is ours. God will not force it upon us. It's not some benevolent factor or something that is given to everyone. Why do I share that? Because a significant part of the Christian message is that God has revealed himself through Jesus Christ. He had revealed himself in the Old Testament through his prophets and the writings. And it is our choice. Do we make that choice? Do we make the right choice? Scripture says that we have everything at our means and disposal to make the right choice. We cannot say that we were not presented with the truth. Paul says, looking at the very nature of creation, looking at nature around us, thinking deeply about the life that we have, we realize that there are those, um, we might call them invisible qualities of God present, but they're actually not that invisible. We can see them when we begin to ask the right question and are not deluded by those who claim that Christianity or any other religion is nothing but a waste of time. And as Christians, we do claim arrogantly, but quite truthfully, there is only one way to the Father, and that is through Jesus Christ. And I share that because today we remember the visit to the young girl, a simple girl in many respects, Mary, um, and to be told that she will become with child, a virgin birth, and that the child will be the very son of God, the God himself in human form. And Mary accepted that, no doubt in great turmoil and great surprise, but in her faith, she was willing to accept that if this is the will of God, then she can do nothing but accept it. And that's one of the reasons why she is respected, you don't have to revere her and pray to her. I don't think anyone prays to her as if she is the source of salvation. But she is deeply respected for that faith that she displayed all those many years ago. And it's that choice that she made that opened the door, as it were, for salvation of humankind. What choice, what consequence of the choice you make, apart from eternal salvation for yourself, what impact will you have on your family and your local church community and on the society or community at large in which you live? So folks, think carefully about the choice that you have. Remembering God made you without your will, but he cannot save you without your will either. So it is your choice. What choice do you make? How do you call this? Folks, have a wonderful day. I'm not sure that I will manage to chat to you tomorrow. I have a very early funeral, which will no doubt go on into the morning a bit, but we'll just see how the day pans out. God bless, and we'll chat again sometime soon. Bye-bye.